to Inside New York. Uh, we're thrilled to have back on Inside New York, Woody King, who's back after winning a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Odalco. He's got a 50th anniversary gala coming up and a new play that's <laughs> opening in a week. At the time, you'll be seeing it aired right here on Inside New York. We welcome back, always, Woody King. I'm hey, glad to be here. Woody. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here with you hey, and Richard. Uh, and uh, we spent a lot of time in the lobby, you know, talking, <laughs> yes. talking, talking about old times. And, that's uh, a, that's we, we're going to have that kind of session. Okay. But I know that what's most important, because we're doing a book signing, is we keep... We're doing a special book signing, as you know, mm -hmm. with Richard Wesley. Mm -hmm. And that's when we're going to be able to share all those old time stories. It's always so loud in the balcony. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. So, you know, not to give away all of what we're going to be talking about, but you definitely going to be way up in mm -hmm. part of it. And I wanted Richard to be here to, you know, to talk a little bit about the, your history. Mm -hmm. But you're right here in front of us, and I want to make sure that my viewers know, if they weren't at the Odelco Awards, that you won a Lifetime Achievement Award. Mr. King, if you'd like to make your way to the stage, please. We'd love to honor you with this time. Interview you afterwards, 
So what would you like to say about having received that award, Woody? Well, I, I feel very good because it was looking for Leroy. And uh, it was yeah. about uh, Amiri Baraka's life. And I got it through the mail. And I read it and I said, whoa, let's do this. And uh, uh, Kim Sullivan, uh, right. Tyler Fauntleroy yeah. did a brilliant job. The young intern and Kim did Baraka. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, this is amazing. This guy who wrote this play must have done a lot of research. And then I met him. He knew I had done all of Baraka's plays. And he said, I, I just sent it to you. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, man, that's amazing. <laughs> then you had to know I was going to do it. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we did it. We got Petronia Paley to direct it. And it was just awesome. And that goes to it. Gonna do it at the Black Theater Network in Detroit on uh, July 26th okay. for one performance for all the colleges and universities that are members of the Black Theater Network. And I'm excited. I'm excited, John. Wow, because I was saying, oh, you're gonna bring it back, and I know it's always a it's a challenge of raising the funds. Because you know, that this is the whole thing, which is why we're thrilled to have you on to talk about your play before it actually opens for previews uh -huh. because usually by the time the word gets out everybody's seen it you know if it if it's one of those uh, uh showcases it's only a couple of weeks and by the time we get out the review it's gone mm -hmm. and so you know this is one of those mm -hmm. plays that neither one of us had the opportunity to see um, and we would love to know that it's coming back. Yeah, yeah. Well, looking for Leroy is not coming back to New York. Okay, it's, it's, it's be on uh, the road, being, I guess. Yeah. No, no. It's, it's it was done by uh, uh, the Roby Theater mm -hmm. uh, last it, week yeah, in yeah, L.A. In, yeah, in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles, yeah. um, uh, people are looking at it around the country. Uh, it's uh, Baraka was a major influence on the American theater. Mm. Uh, thoughts and ideas and concepts that had not been thought of before. He mm -hmm. took chances, he took risks, and uh, uh, I wanted to take those kind of risks. Uh, you know, so I came he was along. An inspiration. Well, was he, well, you were in theater long before. I mean, what, what is the connection in terms of him being either an inspiration to any of what you do or? Well, Did I produced everything... his first play in Detroit, The oh, Toilet. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, and they... Right. And they I can... had, and I had, this is how I first had uh, Richard Wesley on the show, is unfortunately after Amir Baraka had passed. And I said I wanted to have someone on that really knew Amir Baraka and could talk about him. And that's when we talked about uh, Amir Baraka, his work, I believe the toilet and uh, a couple Dutchman. of Dutchman, Dutchman, mm -hmm. which yeah. I had seen. Yes. Mm -hmm. So well, you well, know. you know, Joan, mm -hmm. uh, whether you like it or not, you are sort of like a kid in this business. We've been <laughs> oh, in this. Please, we were, yeah, but, yeah. I'm, but I'm like looking at the clock, which is coming up in March, and I'm like, I'm supposed to still be a kid. I'm not supposed to be getting yes, tired. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you know I mean nobody said you look at two guys you were... and just look at Viney, 95, and she's, she's got more energy than, and, 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 than I have. Yeah, uh, yeah, I but mean, you know, uh, when we were doing these plays, when Ed Bullins uh, mm -hmm. was writing the Taking of Miss Jane in New England Winters, uh, you know, it was like, a barren land. It was no. It was barren. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yeah. No, you know, it was no... You know, really yeah, trailblazers. Yeah. No, I, I, and uh, yeah. I, I, you know, I remember seeing you, which we have talked about, and in fact, I, I, like, I feel like I have to update the number of plays you produced. I think at one time I saw 144, but that... No, 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 it's, it's, it's about like, 350. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm not even, because they can't even keep up with it. You know, I usually Google all this information. They mm -hmm. can't even keep updating it. Yeah. All I know is a tremendous number yeah. of plays that you have produced. Yeah. And, you know, uh, it's it's just, uh, but I knew of you. You're right. I, I, I remember that, that uh, I didn't know how involved you were with Ntozaki's play, you know, and, and all of that. So that was oh, yeah. fascinating yeah, to me. The, and, right, uh, we talked about that. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, my, my generation, do, to the, not all, but most about people in my generation are not aware that you were the force behind you know, for color girls. Uh, well, you so. know, uh, we were the force behind so, so many. many plays. Exactly. We can't, let's not talk about right. just the, one. The, right. Yeah, yes, yeah, don't don't talk about one. But we but, are still producing at 543 West 42nd 42nd Street right. at the Castillo Theater. Um, Two can play opens February 27th, goes through April 5th. And we um, want your audience to know it. Yes. And, uh, and that's uh, why I said I want you to come on early. I've had yeah. Joyce Sylvester mm -hmm. on talking about you, honoring you with all the, tri you know, I think it might have been the 45th that we had her and others on talking about uh, how you inspired her in theater. Um, you know, there, there's so many people I've had. Lynn Whitfield, you know, has mm. been on the show, and she's talked about you. And I think it was the 40th where you had so many stars <laughs> came in from California. Yeah, well, I, well, 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 well. But anyway, well, well, you got John, the 50th we, we, coming we, up. The 50th is all of this year. Yeah. All of 2020. And uh, we are uh, going to let you have this. Is this the invite? Yes. Before it even hits the press? Before it even hits the, the press. press. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. That's that's the Another 2020. exclusive. And the entire it, year okay. we will be celebrating and we'll give a gala December 6th. Sunday, wow. December 6th. You will right. get an invitation mm -hmm. to that Sunday, December 6th. We will take over the entire Castillo mm -hmm. Theater. Okay. We'll take over the whole building. I, I thought you were going to say you're going to take over the whole no, New, no, York, go, we, New York City. <laughs> no, no. They're going to shut down the streets. They need to. I need to give a call to our mayor. Okay, well, we, we, well, we don't want to sit down and sit. And Ted Lange is hosting. Uh, and yeah. thank God we got Richard Wesley yes! to write the narrative. So I heard. We want you, we want you to know that we are honoring... Uh, Felicia Rashad. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're honoring uh, Essie Pather Murkison. Uh -huh. uh, we're honoring Douglas Turner, Turner Ward. Ward. Yes. And uh, it's going to be fabulous. Absolutely. It's going to be fabulous. In every theater, there will be something. Yes. And in the big theater, you know, people will be sitting down eating. And in the small theaters, it will be on screen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, different okay. prices. For well, different well, I think you're also I planning, to, you, you're going to be running some of the short films, um, uh, also clips, on those screens, clips, clips from yeah, the films yeah. on, on uh, some of those screens. I mean, a lot of people know you, of course, as a theater director, a theater producer, but I think there might be some people out there who are not aware of the fact that you have also produced motion pictures. Yes. And so we'll be seeing clips from some of those pictures, pictures that were that were uh, written, produced, and filmed right here in New York City. Yes. And with, um, one with Morgan Freeman. Yeah, that's right, you know, Morgan. Uh, that was the first time. In fact, I think that was the first time that the life of Malcolm X was dramatized on screen. Yes. Was in the film about Malcolm that you produced. Yes. And yeah. the last poets. Oh that's my. True. That's right. That's absolutely yeah. right. Yes. With Cain. Felipe Luciano, the, I mean, and David you Nelson. Know, you know, the, the, your uh, archives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. And a, and a film called The Black Theater Movement. We travel all over the United States doing clips from different theaters. It'll be small clips. They're, they're not going to be long. No. Right. You know, just just well, short. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, you, yeah. Got, you got too many for them to be long. You yeah. know, I mean, <laughs> my goodness, I know what that's <laughs> like. But you know, it is. We something told me I got to hold the state. 
February 20th. We had talked about bringing you in in December, right after all Delco's. And then, you know, we held this for Black mm -hmm. History Month because we want to make sure. That's the kickoff. Yes. This month is the kickoff exactly. for the whole year. Right. Yes. And we've made a commitment, as, as uh, at least, you know, I, I have proposed that we, you know, spotlight at least one play a month. Mm -hmm. And yours is obviously going to be spotlighted next month um, because it's going to be kicking off at the end of this month and running through April 5th. 5th. April 5th. Exactly. Yeah. So, but we want to, you know, let yeah. our viewers know to come see it early. We also are going to be doing a few ticket giveaways. I'm yes. going to give some thoughts to, you know, how they're going to win it, but they'll hear about it first on Inside New York and also on our YouTube channel and social media. Mm -hmm. And we were going to blast it all kind of ways mm -hmm. so that people don't forget and sleep on it because, <laughs> you know, there are people who thought that I only wanted to do Broadway. It wasn't that I only wanted to do Broadway. It's just that with Broadway, you usually have six months. So you got time to bring people in. You got time to, you know, get the message out. You got time to do the, the promo and all that. Um, but with off Broadway, which I still say is the place where all, all you, theater, all, all roads lead to off Broadway, and they need to, you need to see it off Broadway first. There's nothing, even if it goes to Broadway. I've never seen anything that I like better than the off Broadway production. Yes, he's been whatever. doing this for years. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, Woody's is, been, yeah, you know, yeah, he's, he's, one, he's um, been this my This one that's coming up on February 27th at, at, at the Castillo. Which is? Uh, uh, Two Can Play. Two Can Play. Which is written by Trevor Roan, one of the most outstanding uh, playwrights um, in um, uh, Caribbean writing. I mean, he, I guess he... He also sort of like straddles the, yeah, the Atlantic yeah, yeah. now because he's in London, he's in the Caribbean, he's been uh, uh, here in New York uh, uh, off and on over the years, and, and he is a major, major writer um, in um, uh, black literature uh, in the diaspora. He also, um, I believe, is a, a professor or has been a professor at the University of the West Indies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, down in, uh, in the campus uh, uh, in Kingston mm -hmm. uh, for quite some time. So this this man is 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 uh, you know he represents. I guess that's the only way to put it. He re he truly represents, and this is a major play by him. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know the New Feral Theater is to be commended in its 50th year to be bringing this play to the stage and bringing it to New York for audiences to see. So, Michael Manley wrote the introduction to the book. Well, there you go. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Michael, Prime Minister Michael Manley wrote the introduction to Trevor Rohn's book. And I mm. said, whoa, man. Yeah. And you, if you read that introduction two or three times, you say, wow, this guy was so advanced. He's like in Krumah, mm -hmm. you know, in Ghana. These, these, these were major people. You know, mm -hmm. you know, that's it's history. Like, yeah, that's yeah. history right there. Uh, and and uh, yes, they have to commend you, Woody, because, you know, uh, it, it, it's a whole big thing about the women's movement. And I remember that you made a focus, and I'd say at least more than a decade ago, to focus also on plays that had a strong women. Uh, characters, roles, and themes, mm -hmm. and you, I think you were one of the first to incorporate mm -hmm. that into, you know, the whole, uh, uh, you know, you, the, you, list you, of production. You, you, I know Richard and I are going to probably do chats when this, uh, yeah, when, when this, this when this airs, airs yeah. so we yeah. can add, you know, additional information, but. Mm -hmm. it, it, people will know about this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, we're on the front end of this, Woody, and that's why I held the date, even though our director, our illustrious director, you know, had an emergency, I said, I can't push you back mm -hmm. because I want us to be at the front end mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. this production, um, which is Two Can Play. Uh, what I would like to say also is, um, which is, all, is at the Castillo Theater mm -hmm. at 543 West 42nd Street, very centrally located, um, only through April 5th. What I do want people to share when they come on Inside New York, especially people like you, there are a lot of playwrights 
I've seen some plays, Woody's seen some, I mean, and of course Richard and I both saw a play that we thought should have made the rounds in, in, with the New York theater community. Mm -hmm. um, how do you select these plays? Uh, someone had mentioned that this had actually been done before? Five years ago. Okay. What, did, you, did, you, did you produce it five years ago? No, no. I didn't produce it. Somebody else. Hazel, both actors died. Oh, mm. okay. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's uh, Hazel Medina, just wonderful. Uh -huh. And Joyce Sylvester is replacing her. Yes. And so I, you had seen this five years five, ago? Five, it closed five years ago. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and she died almost a month later. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Hazel, yeah. Yeah, she was just a wonderful black actress. Uh-huh. No. Was she up in age or no? No, no, no. no. Just, it was she, she was. She was like, you know, everybody else in their seventies. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, it's all relative, right? Yeah, you everybody. Know, but okay. Everybody in their seventies, you know. Yeah. Um, me and uh, 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 Richard had a, you know, we go mm. way, way, <laughs> That's way when you back. back to, I'm you just know, a kid. That's no, right. no, 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 no. Black and I magazine. am in, in, in comparison to you guys. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I told everyone it's such an honor to have you on. Woody's been basically on, mm -hmm. on a regular basis for the past 25 years. Richard, you know, it's like I got to mm -hmm. give, you know, Woody a rest. You know, <laughs> Richard, I said, Richard, you got to come in, you know, and, yeah. and, 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 you know, continue the... The, the tradition yeah. because you have the history. No, and no, no, that's no, no. What, you know, no, no. And, and the, the artistic. The history, the, the history is written down it's all, mm -hmm. in his book. Now, it's always yes. loud in the balcony. Yes. His history is written down right. in yeah. the line of plays. Yes. The Mighty Gents. Mm -hmm. The Sirens. This is a mutual, Let's get it, let, let, uh, get it know, together. Admiration. Yeah. Mutual admiration. The past is the past. Yeah. You know, the history is written down. It is. And, 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 but and if you know people those plays. Don't read. Yeah, you know, if you read. A lot of people don't. Well, Especially I, not now. I I've mean, done those plays. I've people. done some of those plays. But see, that's old school. What? And this is, you know, reading. Well, obviously, as a producer, you got to read plays. Yeah, you got to read think, plays in order think, to select them. Right, I, got, right. I think Richard would say, as a, as a professor, you know, mm -hmm. how many young people want to be really reading all the plays or reading all the history, you know, when you've got this digital age where you know, well, uh, well, even whatever I you, can just Google John, John, whatever. Yeah. John, whatever you got, you got to sit there and read it or see it. Okay. Uh, as a film or whatever yeah. it is in. To be knowledgeable. Oh, oh yeah, you got to be knowledgeable. Yeah. Absolutely. And, you can't, and we talked about yeah. that. That's why you don't have... It's been difficult. I know it's been difficult, you know, uh, to find people that will do the black reviews, of, of, of black theater reviews. There's not that tradition in, I guess, in academia to focus on black theater, even people who want to be, I guess, critics and, and journalists, there's not, you know, they haven't carved out that area of, of study. And therefore, really, the only people who can talk about knowledgeably are the people who are involved in theater, you know, like yourself and Richard. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what you can share with us outside of also, as artists, your productions is just, you know, I could say awesome. any, I could say anything, you know that, but it's like you coming in, sitting down, and saying whoa, and laughing. Yeah. Say so hi, whoa, man, this guy's making me laugh, you know. That's that, 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 so, that's so, it, you know. That's uh, two so can play. You. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna you're gonna say whoa, man. And these people want to immigrate to Amer America. They want they go through all this to get to Florida. Mm. Well, they, yeah, the, audience, the audience now. is going to have a chance to see that uh, beginning uh, February the 27th. Yes. Two can play by Trevor Rome. And if you want tickets, 212-353-1176. Call that number. Uh, or www.newfederaltheater.com. Reach out via uh, your uh, computer or device. And if you want a special opportunity as being one of our loyal viewers, 
to be able to grab a complimentary ticket to see this musty production, you should make sure you follow us, subscribe to Inside New York on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and also on Twitter for your chance to win a pair of tickets to see this work and other great works that we're going to be featuring all year round. Thank because you. we got to do it, <laughs> yes. okay? Okay. And yeah. if somebody wants to get their play produced, what is your, you know, words of advice? They send me the play. Okay, <laughs> you heard it first. They send me it's the play. Uh, you know, it's very simple. All right. Woody, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, and congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We're really looking forward to seeing this play. And, and celebrate then, with right. us this entire year. Oh, we're going to be celebrating And we with have you an our gala year. December 6th at 3 p.m. it starts. Wow, okay. you got it all down, down. So there's no excuse. So you can't blame it on last minute notice. Mm. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Okay, thank you again, Woody. Thank you. All right. And we're looking forward. Yeah. Oh, my God.